Yeah, no two ways about it. It will be and uh, an absolutely enthralling race as always from the wingless division. As the field, 20 laps on the board. We are green off turn four. Loggy Robinson and Liam Atkinson were on the front row. Here comes Jolly and Mazza trying to go around the outside. Down the back straightaway. That looks like the car there of... Um, oh, his name's escaped me all night, Macca. I'll, I'll think of it in a minute. But, yeah, just... Uh, down the back straight away they go and they're just starting to sort themselves out a little bit at the moment but Lockie Robinson leading the way Liam Atkinson, Rob Mazza they got a little bit of a gap over Jacob Jolly as the uh, rest of the field down the back try to sort themselves out Mick Reed down there, Dave Eggins trying to find a way through as well there's Ian Milnes in the three car. There's uh, Casey O'Connell, high and wide in the Q1. Way down the back of the pack at the moment. Is it Seaton Young you're trying to think of? Yeah, uh, Seaton Young, that's it. Names escape me all night. You, you get one of those cars, you just can never think of it, eh? As the yellow lights come on. Uh, it's a core pork down the bottom. Oh, there's a couple of cars down there. I can see uh, one or two moving around, or three, four. Yes, the V6 Commodore Brigade have decided to park it up there at Garden City, mate. Yeah. Lights are out, Trev. Racing this time by 16 laps left to run. Do trust you're enjoying it here at Brisbane's International Speedway and right around the world on Ash Media. Lockie Robinson hammers the throttle out of turn four. Atkinson gets a little crossed up. Here comes Jolly now having a look around the outside of Mazza. Where's Eggins? Eggins gets through on the inside of Seaton Young. Down the back. Jolly still too wide with Mazza. Atkinson now almost three wide out of turn four. Eggins now coming forward. Haven't got past Seaton Young. Bit further back through the field. There's Russo with Sean Knight. Dan Evans. Oh, yellow lights are on again. I can see an orange roll bar. Is that Milnesy again? Is that Ian Milnes down there in three and four? With uh, I'm not sure who else is involved. Uh, in it's that. the 24 of Scotty Mortensen again. And yeah. he's run around a few times. He's going to be hard to beat from that position, I think. Certainly is. Boy, oh boy, what a night for midget racing here in Brisbane. 15 laps left in this one, Trev, and it's a long way from home. Certainly is as we get hammered down once again. Robinson leads them back to the stripe. Mazza now in third spot, still under fire from Jolly. As Eggins now has a look on Paulie Robinson. Seaton Young there, not letting Eggins get away in the Rob Mack car. Mick Reed gets a little sideways out of turn four. But Lockie Robinson doing a good job at the moment. Liam Atkinson still anchoring down second spot. Those spots haven't changed. Neither is Mazza in third or Jolly in fourth. Behind them, though, it's uh, been a bit of a shuffled pack throughout the first seven laps of this A-Main. Seaton Young just dropped back a bit now off the back of Eggins, who's trying to get on level terms with Paulie Robinson, but loses a bit of ground through turn four there. Jaden O'Toole's got Paul Newcomb for company. A bit further back in the field as they try to find a way around Casey O'Connell, who's trying to find a way himself around Mick Reed, goes to the high side. Mick Reed still there, hangs on. O'Connell can't get the job done. Meanwhile, back at the front, it is still Robinson from Atkinson, Mazza, Jolly. Paulie Robinson. Trying to find a way past the 82, the Lismore Nissan car of Jolly. Cody O'Connell now having a look down the inside of Benny Mason. O'Connell now moves forward. Next car on his list will be the car of Eggins, who's lost his spot back to Seaton Young, who's got past the Rob Mack car. Eight laps to run this time by for Lockie Robinson. 
The Robinson Building Supply sponsored number 47 leads Liam Atkinson. Mazza still third, Jolly. Can't do anything about the front three, they're in fourth. O'Connell in the Transmile car. Coming forward. Got some speed on board now on the tail tank of uh, Dave Eggins. Ben Mason gets wide and Mick Reed almost gets through. Gets it crossed up and takes out. Oh, up and over goes Paulie Newcomb. Wow. And that started. Mickey Reed got crossed up there. Newcomb had nowhere to go. Someone's got a bit of smoke coming out. That looks like Eggins' car there. Rides the wall and uh, keeps his foot in the gas. The car actually kept running while it was on its side there for a bit. And we'll leave that to the stewards. As we say, Trev, we don't get paid to do that job. So the cars spread out around the racetrack with the red light stoppage. Seven laps still remain on the BK trading board. I think it's their third night of the summer series. Come on, Queensland Super Sedan Series making yeah. their way in. Uh, M cars, compacts and stock cars. So some big, big nights coming up. And then, of course, we kick it off for the seven nights of summer. Speaking of kicking off, we are green for the remaining seven laps of this feature. Lockie Robinson leads the way as he has all race long as Dan Evans brings a misfiring 99 down into the crossover. Atkinson jolly now getting racy on the back of Rob Mazda. Look at O'Connell, Casey O'Connell. Oh, Seton Young there almost. I don't think he realized Casey was on the outside. And uh, Eggins comes back on the inside of O'Connell. Oh, look out. Someone's dropped their lunch. One of the cars looks like it's dropped some fluid. I think it might be the Atkinson car. Uh, spot on, mate. So that car is uh, going to be an absolute nightmare when he gets it back up and running. Paulie Robinson back there in fifth from Seton Young. Back to green we go for the remaining five laps. And it is Lockie Robinson that leads. Liam Atkinson in second spot, but for how much longer? And Mazza in that ailing Blackwoods car sits in third, holding off Jolly at the moment. A bit further back, it's Paul Robinson, Seton Young, Dave Eggins, Casey O'Connell looking to go on the high side. Ben Mason, Jaden O'Toole, Sean Knight, and the rest of the field. Meanwhile, out in front, as he has all race long, led from the front, Lockie Robinson. Mazza doing a great job in that ailing Blackwoods car to still be hanging on to third spot. Jolly, though, getting a little racy, getting closer to the tail tank of the two. Casey O'Connell gets past Seton Young and Eggins on that tour. Moves himself up another spot. Now heads out after Paulie Robinson. But unfortunately the white flag is out and one to go for Lockie Robinson. Down the back for the last time. Through turns three and four. And what a great drive from the young man. Robinson will take the win. Second to Liam Atkinson. Third's going to go to Mazza. Then it's Jolly from Robinson. O'Connell, Young, Mason, and the rest of the field can sort themselves out. But what a great drive. Brisbane, put your hands together for Lockie Robinson. Short and sharp, Trev. We're just going to do first place, I think, Macca? Yes, mate. So Lockie will roll her into... Roll her into the infield while we uh, get the midgets out for their Queensland title. So, real quick, we'll have a quick chat to the boys.
Away you go. Rob Mazza making his way out of the car in third place tonight, folks. Put your hands together for Rob Mazza. A bit of an ailing car there, mate. The uh, torsion bars dropped off the left front. She would have been a bit of a handful for the last five laps. Yeah, it was... Uh... I didn't know what was going on. I knew something was wrong in the right front, uh, left front corner, but yeah, I didn't know she was always wanting to turn right on me, so it was pretty, pretty much a handful. Yeah, definitely. Um, just want to thank Tony uh, for you know, continually supplying a, a top-notch car. Um, he always gives me what I need, uh, no questions asked. Uh, thanks to my sponsors, uh, Casino Joinery, Blackwoods, Tasman Racewear, 44 Photography, uh, NJR Constructions and Renovations, and... Uh, Renee Lego uh, Photography. Well done, mate. Thank you. In second place tonight, folks, put your hands together for Liam Atkinson. Well, mate, um, I'm not sure what fluid came out of that in, with about six to go, but uh, certainly dumped it down in turn one. Yeah, I'm not too sure either, mate, but uh, the motor still felt good. Didn't lose any oil pressure, so hopefully it's just a, a power steering leak or something of the, that variety rather than an engine oil. Well, mate, the, ma the, the main thing is you managed to hang on and finish in second spot. Oh, man, this means so much to me. It's been a few years since I've been on the podium. Um, I destroyed a car two weeks ago at Toowoomba and had to build this car and um, to get it out on its first night and put it on the podium is uh, to win in my book. Congratulations, buddy. Well done. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. And winner tonight in the Ian Botcher Race Parts Round here at Archerfield Speedway. Put your hands together for Lockie Robinson. Congratulations, buddy. Well done. There's your feature race winner sticker, mate. Uh, faultless performance in the feature tonight, led from green to checker. Yeah, thanks very much, Trev. Uh, we had an awesome night. Uh, ticked off a heap of goals. First heat win, first feature win. Um, Dad, uh, Tommy, Graham, the whole, the whole boys gave me a good car. Um, yeah, pretty much speechless. speechless. Mate, uh, most important thing, a full bag of points in the Ian Botcher Race Part Series. Oh, 100%, mate, 100%, 100%. I'd just like to quickly thank all my sponsors, Swimmer Car Wreckers, TSR, Robertson Building Services, LB Technologies, uh, Boss Hog Steakhouse, Tracks Tire and Auto, Dryden Steins, Mud Buddy, everyone that helps us deal, uh, go around, and, um, yeah, absolutely stoked, mate.